gonna talk about lipless crankbaits now for a minute. Um, there's a few different ones in front of you here. Uh, the, as you can see, the general overall shape and design of lipless crankbaits are all fairly similar. There are a few differences, but for the most part, pretty easy to tell what you're looking at. Um, there's really three main differences between regular crankbaits and lipless crankbaits. The first is the most obvious, the, uh, the lack of lip on lipless crankbaits. They don't have lips. Um, second would be the shape and the action. Third, the overall versatility and fishability of lipless crankbaits compared to regular crankbaits. First of all, lipless crankbaits obviously do not have a lip like regular crankbaits. So what that means, there has to be a different place for the line tie to go. Most crankbaits on the, on the lip is where the line tie would be. Since this doesn't have a lip, the line ties on lipless crankbaits are on the back. That kind of changes the way that the baits are going to move through the water as well. As since the crankbaits have lips, most of them float. When you start reeling down, that lip catches water, causing the bait to go deeper. The lipless crankbaits, the overwhelming majority of them sink. So they're going to hit the bottom, you start reeling, that bait's going to come up. So it's the complete opposite of regular crankbait. Um, another difference is the body shape of lipless crankbaits. They're all pretty similar. I mean, there are subtle differences, as you can tell, but basically it's all the same. But one key feature of a lipless crankbait is the very uh, slender, slim, streamlined shape, the flat sides. There are crankbaits that are flat-sided, but this is kind of a standard as far as lipless crankbaits are concerned. What that flat-sided shape and skinny design does is when the bait's being reeled through the water, it makes the bait have a real tight wobble. As opposed to regular crankbaits, a lot of times they'll have a real wide wobble like this. Well, lipless crankbaits have a real tight action. They don't get too wide. And what that tight action does is it puts off just a ton of vibration in the water, making them, uh, you know, very easy to uh, catch the fish, fish's attention. Another thing with lipless crankbaits, a lot of times they have rattles. The, definitely most of the time they do. So that really tight wobble and puts off a huge amount of vibration along with the rattles, these baits really get the fish's attention easily and makes them great for, you know, fishing dirtier water as well. Um, lipless crankbaits, and the cool thing about them is they're really versatile. They can be fished several different ways. Um, as opposed to crankbaits, which they can be, you can vary the retrieve or how you reel them in, but for the most part, it's cast and reel. That's basically what regular crankbaits are, but lipless crankbaits are different because, for one, they're a great bait for fishing submerged grass. You cast it out and just slowly reel that bait in so it's just ticking the top of the grass, and if you ever get hung up in grass, you just jerk the rod up and it kind of, these baits kind of rip out of the grass and a lot of times that's when the fish will hit it. Another great way to fish them is just cast them out, let them sink to the bottom and just very very slow retrieve. retrieve. You can creep it along the bottom and that bait will just kind of shimmy and scoot along the bottom real slowly. And then another popular way to fish them which you can't do with crankbaits at all, is it's called the yo-yo method. You'll cast your lipless crankbait out, let it sink to the bottom, reel a little bit, and then just give a quick snaps of the rod up in the air. So your bait kind of rips off the bottom. And then what you do is you just let it sink on its own. And it will kind of flutter and shimmy and fall with a real lifelike dying bait fish type action that can be just super great for catching fish at times. I really like to hit it on the on the natural fall like that. Um, that's just 
kind of an introduction to lipless crankbaits. Um, we can get into it with more detail later on, but that's just a kind of a good start. So hopefully you learn something new and check them out and get yourself some lipless crankbaits because they can be a lot of fun. Thanks.